Hey everybody, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on division and our topic today is dividing greater numbers with two-digit divisors. Greater numbers is just referring to our dividend of 45,308. It just has more digits and that's the only problem we're doing today. Two-digit divisors means that the number we're dividing by has two place values, in this case the tens and the ones place value. We have five steps like always. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then for each one we bring down, we have to then start all over again and repeat the process. All right. Because it's two digits, we'll start with the second digit. Ask yourself, this is the divide step, how many times can 13 go into 45 without going over? We won't be able to use our multiplication facts like usual because these are larger numbers and two-digit divisors. So we'll use some other strategies today. So let's take our 13, and one strategy is let's just break it into expanded form, which would be 10 and 3. And our job is to see how many times uh, 13 will go into 45. So I'm just going to start with the 10 for estimating. 10 times 4 is 40. That's pretty close, but we need to include that 3. 3 times 4 is 12, and then I'm going to add the 40 plus 12, and you can do this mentally. I do. I'm just showing your steps right now. 52, that's too many, uh, which means that we cannot use the 4, but we did learn that we can use 3. So we'll put the 3 at the top, and now we're going to multiply 13 times 3 is equal to 39. The 39 goes below the 45, and then we subtract, and we get 6,000, but I'm just going to call it 6, okay? All right, bring down the 3, and now we have 63. I'm just going to call it 63, even though the comma's there, and we're ready to uh, start again. But before we do that, remember when you have your comma, that's your thousands comma, so when you mark that, make sure it's lined up correctly and that you have your 3,000 in the right place value. If you do that, then you know that your answer is going to have to have a total of four digits, okay? Your four digits would be your thousands, a hundreds, your tens, and the ones, and then we may have a remainder after that, but make sure you line that up, okay? So, next step is how many times can 13 go into 63 without going over? So, in other words, 13 times what is 63 or close to it? Let's just try repeated addition for this one. 13 plus 13 is 26, plus 13 more is 39, 52, and 13 more would be 65. And again, the more you do this, you can just do it mentally, but I'm just showing you. I can see that 65 is too many, which means we don't need that last group of 13. And we have a total of four in red there. Four. So four groups of 13, right? And we're going to go 13 times four is 52. 52 goes on the bottom, and we're ready to subtract. 63 minus 52 is 11. Just ignore that comma for now. And as long as it's not 13 or more, we're, we're doing fine, OK? And we're going to now bring down the 0, and we have 110. All right. We're going to start all over again. We're going to you know repeat the steps. How many times can 13 go into 110 without going over? Well, we just said that 4 times 13 is 52. So I'm just, I'm just going to do some mental math. I know that 52 uh, is going to go into 110 two times if I just double it, right? So how did we get 104? We just took 52 and multiplied it by 2. So that's what we have to do to the 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. And then 8 is going to go on the top. And now, because I'm just estimating, and now I'm going to multiply 8 times 13, and I get 104, which is what we had up there near the 110. So 104, and then we subtract. And that would give us 6. And we're going to bring down that 8. And now we have 68. OK. How many times does 13 go into 68 now without going over? I'm just going to use the repeated addition strategy again. Again, you can do this mental math. I'm just showing you the steps there. But you can see that, like last time, 52 plus 13 equals 65. And that 
actually is perfect. So we have five groups of 13. The five goes on top. 13 times 5 is 65. The 65 goes on the bottom. We subtract, and that would be 3. That 3 at the bottom is going to become our remainder that we put at top. And we just want to put an R in there, which stands for your remainder. And your answer is 3,485 with a remainder of 3. So that's uh, an example of how to do a greater number with two-digit divisor. So hope, uh, hope that helped today. Thanks for hanging in there, and we hope to see you uh, on the next video.